welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Doninga Kui. thank you so much for joining me again on this channel uh so today we are in the place that i normally film it's not a beauty room no 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 i don't have a beauty room yet but this is the place that i normally film my uh beauty stuff like on my other main channel actually my main channel is a beauty channel you can always check it out it's called Naninga Kui. so today guys i have a juicy story <laughs> Yeah, I wish I'd taken a cup of coffee so that I can tell this story, you know, well. Yeah, but unfortunately, I just took tea in the morning. So we're going to have to hype ourselves for this story because I know some of you, <laughs> if you're a football fan and you've clicked on this video, you've probably come across it by mistake, honestly. But yeah, this is a story time and I'm going to tell you how I was in love with Neymar. Yes, Neymar, the, the footballer. And um, turns out, well... I fell in love with Neymar as a musician and turns out he was not a musician at all. So I know I've given away the main, um, you know, punchline of the story, but let's just get into this story because it's a juicy one and I never ever want to forget it. That's why I'm actually vlogging it because it was so hilarious. Like when I found out, I was like, uh, uh, what's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, seriously. So let's rewind back to the year 2013. That's like seven years ago. Yes. So um, I was living with my sister in a little town called Mombasa. And uh, so as I was living with my sister, one thing you should know, my sister lived in Mexico for a while before she came back to Kenya. So as I was living with her, she, she came back that in 2012. Yeah. So I went to live with her in Mombasa in the year 2013. So she loved Spanish music and like South American music. And so I came across... A song that she used to love singing. It was called Checherete Checherete. I'm going to insert a clip so that you can exactly know which song I'm talking about. So I came across this song on YouTube. And as you can see, it's written. Che, che, che. Gustavo, Lima. Gustavo Lima featuring Neymar. And that was in 2013 when I came across this video. Now, <laughs> this is where the funny part is. Neymar was there smiling, like really, really smiling. Like, oh, I just fell in love with that smile. I'm not even going to lie. This was in 2013 before I met my fiance, before I met anybody that I live with. So I instantly had a crush on this smiley person who never uttered a word. And suspiciously, I was not suspicious at all. I even went ahead uh, to comment on that video that, woo. The guy is smiling like nobody's business. <sighs> then, years went. I kept on going back to that video just to see that smile. And in my head, I always knew that that guy is a musician. I didn't question why he did not utter a word in the entire video. So what do you do when you have a serious crush on somebody? You Google them. You Google them. So I went ahead and Googled this guy's name. I was like, Neymar. Okay, photos of a, music, of a footballer came up. And I was like, uh, no, 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 something ain't right. So I entered Neymar, musician, into my Google search box. Still, photos of, <laughs> of a footballer came up. I disregarded all those photos and I went to YouTube and I searched Neymar music. And I was not disappointed. YouTube did not disappoint me. Another video came up, which was this one. If you guys can remember, I see This was uh, this was like now around 2015. Yeah, so I'm still like stalking this guy, you know, his music. And I really love that song. So I would always go back to it. And for all of you who know, like when you love a song, you always go back to it, even if it's 10 years later. So I found that so now i would go back to these two songs and then i was like and nothing made me question why one he was not really singing in both songs and two he was not really doing anything much but i was like hey maybe he's like lil wayne maybe he's the king of south american collaborations but i was like okay yeah years went by i keep on going keep on going keep on going back watching the video admiring the smile watching the video admiring the smile watching the video admiring the smile Woo! Fast forward to the present, 22. So, in 2020, I'm extremely busy. I've completely forgotten about Neymar as a musician. 
completely forgotten. And then, as usual, YouTube loves bringing up stuff that you searched for like 30 years ago if YouTube was in existence. So YouTube pops up a video in my recommended and it's like, hey, check out this video. You might like it again. <sighs> okay, I'm like, oh, I remember there was somebody who had a cute smile and this song was bomb. So I go back to that video and I watch it. This is recently like a month ago or something. And I watch it. And surprise, surprise, <laughs> I'm like, wow, this guy is still cute. I've grown older. He's still young, but I'm like, damn, that smile is still fine. So I go into my Google search box. This time around, I'm serious and I have the intention of finding out all the details, the biography of this mysterious Brazilian musician at that time i didn't even know he was brazilian i just guessed he's from some south american country so i'm like mm, i'm gonna find out the history the biography the everything about this mysterious smiley musician i type neymar okay footballer picks i'm like okay now this is getting really suspicious i try to zoom into one of the footballer picks but yeah, I'm just not into football at all. Clearly, I'd have known a long time ago that this man has never ever been a musician. But, okay. I'm like, I'll give Google another try. Neymar, musician. Cricket. Like, seriously, like, cricket. Like, Google is like, the heck? I think I've given you all the results. Okay, I type Neymar, musician, che che re che. Okay, then I see somebody craning over my phone. I see my fiance craning over my phone. He's like, hey, why are you searching for Neymar? Since when were you a fan of soccer? And I was like, hey, mind your business. Mind your own damn business. And then he's like, um... Neymar is a footballer, then he proceeds to tell me all about Neymar's history. I'm like, hey, Neymar is a musician. The Neymar I'm searching for is a musician. Don't bother me. Don't, bo don't bother me. Don't, don't piss me off. <laughs> Guess what? Something tells me to look at those football photos really, 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 really close up. And I'm horrified. I'm like... 2020 like i'm like what happened what happened all along like i've been in love with a footballer like and also what, telling me this world is crazy so basically i had a crush on somebody for about eight years okay of my life and i never ever knew it was he that he's a footballer i never ever knew that he acted i even watched a movie with him starring him and like I was like, are you sure? Like, I was like, are you sure? He's like, yes, I'm sure. It's the one. It's the one. There's only one Neymar and he's a footballer. There's no Neymar who's a musician. And I was just like, my God. Like, seriously, like, I've been stalking a so-called musician who is not a musician, who has never been a musician. And turns out he is a famous person already who is a famous soccer player. That's why, ladies, that's why you should watch soccer. That's why you should watch. So thank you so much, guys, for listening to my story time. It was a weird one, honestly. But if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't yet clicked the like button, make sure that you click the like button. And thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in my next story time.